Yo, what up YouTube? Plumpy Man here. Just doing a little quick video on the sights I decided to purchase for my AR-15 build. Um, I did a lot of reviews, looked at all the sights on the market. Um, Daniel Defense, Troy, uh, Midwest Industry. I really like their quality stuff. I wish I had the money to go with their flip-up sights, but I didn't. I look at Palmetto State Armory, their flip-up sights, because they're like the cheapest on the market. You can buy them right now for $89.99. Um, but I read one good review and the rest were bad. I talked to a couple people that actually own the sites and they told me you're better off to spend a little extra money and get a good set. So I don't know. I've never owned them. I can't really say myself, but that's what they told me and they do own them. So I decided to go with the Troy fixed battle sites and get a good set of fixed iron sights for my AR-15. And then I figured I could co-witness them with like the site mark later on when I can afford to buy it. But... I ordered these from Primary Arms. The sights are quality good. Um, I'll let you check out the rear sight first. Um, the aperture seems to work pretty good. It's pretty solid. Um, I don't know much about them. I've never really used the actual Troy brand. But they seem to work pretty good. I mean, seem to feel pretty good. I'm hoping they'll work pretty good for me anyway. But here's my complaint. I've never read a single bad review on the internet about primary arms until I <laughs> decide to order something. And this is my bad review thing. Um, the site seems to be alright. I went ahead and went with the M4 just because that's what I've been used to uh, using on my other AR and on my MMP 1522. And so I'm pretty much used to using it, so I just stuck with it. I didn't want to use the HMK like on my AK 47. Or my SKS, so I went with M4. But here's my complaint. It had white stuff all over the... This is the first complaint. It had this white, like, powder residue all over the site. And even in the box, there's still some left in the box. I don't know if you can even see this. Or get it to register, but no. But you can see the white stuff etched inside the Troy name in there a little bit. But there we go. Yeah, that's that's my one complaint. But here's my second complaint. They shipped them to me like this. You can see that. Yes, there is no set screw for my front iron sights. So basically rendering them useless. Uh, I contacted Primary Arms. Well, I called them two or three times. No answer because they're not open on the weekend. So I, they have a 24-7 email. And uh, I emailed them a couple times. You have to get a response. But I told them, this is my first time ordering from you guys. Uh, I hope you make it right. I've heard that you guys are really good quality uh, site. And please let me know something within the next 24 hours. And that's what their motto is, that they will get back with you within one business day. So I'll just leave it at that for right now. But yeah, that's my luck. I ordered uh, what I thought would be the best iron sights on the market that you could purchase. For the money, anyway, forty nine ninety nine. You're not going to beat that. Um, if you go to the Troy site itself, they're sixty five dollars a piece plus shipping and handling. Um, like I said, I ordered it for Primary Arms. I guess that's why it was forty nine ninety nine. I don't know, but hopefully it was just a fluke thing and it was just my luck. But that's the sites. Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, I'm curious to know what you guys are thinking or say. So let me know. Thanks, guys.